Good morning, welcome to Instapot and with Poonam. We have a little bit of bedhead going on today, um, but we're gonna do a really simple video for oatmeal. Um, so it's a really good, nutritious meal for the kids as well as um, for my husband and myself in the mornings. And so Milani just woke up and so I went and grabbed her and I just wanted to get that made so you guys can see how easy it is. So let's run through um, the ingredients. So we're doing a pot in pot version of oatmeal. Sometimes when you make it directly in the Instapot, it gets stuck at the bottom. And so in order to avoid that, we're gonna do a pot in pot method today. I just have a stainless steel bowl that did not come with the Instapot. I just have it in my cabinet, so that's what I'm using. And um, you'll use the rack that comes with your Instapot um, and put that at the bottom with one cup of water. And you'll see that in the recipe so you um, won't have to forget that step. But basically, let's run through the ingredients. We have steel cut oats, not pre-soaked or anything, just straight from the bag, raisins, I like cinnamon sugar in my oatmeal, so there's some cinnamon sugar in a small bowl. And we got um, milk and water. Now, some people have their own preferences of oatmeal. You can add berries, fruits, all your variations will be at the bottom in your recipe, so you're more than welcome to um, look at that and add what you like. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all mixed up. So we're gonna add some oats. We're gonna add the water. And we're gonna add the milk. The cinnamon sugar. And the raisins. Now you can add your raisins after the fact or you can add it within, up to you. But just give it a really good stir and make sure the cinnamon sugar kind of spreads through and the oats get mixed up real good with the water and the milk. So that's good to go. And then we're just gonna put this in the Instapot. Be careful when you put it in. Some of it may spill at the bottom and that's okay. It's, it just doesn't wanna get stuck at the bottom. My pot is improvised. You'll actually have, if you have an Instapot pot in pot, then you're more than welcome to use that. So now what we're gonna do is close the lid. Make sure your steam valve is closed. Mine's closed. And then you're gonna go to manual mode and go down to three minutes. It's really quick, so three minutes and then um, we'll let some of the steam naturally release for a few minutes after that and then we'll open it. Now when you open it, the oats may be a bit, little bit runny and if you like your thicker, you can always close the lid back and add another few minutes or let it sit and it'll naturally thicken up and that you might, if you like that texture better, that's completely up to you. So we'll be back in just a little bit and we're gonna get some oatmeal, yeah. <laughs> we're back and the oatmeal is pretty much done. You can see that it's been 11 minutes and the timer's gone off and that's completely fine. And all the steam has already come out, so we're ready to open this and we're gonna have some breakfast. Oh, it looks really good. So when you look at it, you can see that the oatmeal is now kind of dispersed and it's fluffy and you can see that it's nice and warm with the raisins and everything. So we're ready to serve this and have some breakfast, Nilani. I wouldn't take the pot out, just serve it from here. Just make it a good, make sure you stir it real nice. And then you can serve it from the main, the pot in pot that you have inside. So that way you don't burn yourself or anything. And if you like yours to be a little bit thicker, I like mine like this, but if you like yours a little bit thicker, just let it sit um, and cool down a bit and it'll thicken up but it's a really good nutritious breakfast that you can either take to work or um, have it together as your family, but we're gonna sit down and have some breakfast and Nilani's gonna have some oatmeal too, right? Yeah. We hope you enjoyed that video. The recipe's at the bottom. Please subscribe and share all of your really good success with our videos, we'd love to hear it. And any um, suggestions on what we should try in the Instapot, we'll definitely take those. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed that video.